but today I'm going to be making the Slim and World Beef Stew. Feel free to have a look at the link below and um, it will take you directly to the Slim and World recipe um, or give it a go and try mine. Okay, so here's the recipe that I found. It's the beef stew. It says it serves for cook time an hour and a half. Um, apparently only half a sin, so that's pretty good. Here's all the ingredients that they've got listed. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of using um, a bit of these. I'm kind of changing the shallots, shallots for onions, if I can say it. And um, I've got a couple more carrots because might as well use them up. Bokeh garni, haven't really got any, so I'm kind of using the herbs that I've got. Um, yeah. So this is what I'm using. See, I'm using these carrots, I've got onions, I've got some mushrooms. Um, I've got a couple of frozen ones, so if this isn't enough, I might bung them in as well. Some puree, um, good old staple fry light. Everybody needs fry light in their life. Um, yeah, so here we go. Okay, first off, you gotta prep all your stuff. So you wanna cut up your vegetables, you wanna cut up your carrots, peel them real nice, cut them up real chunky. You wanna do the same with your onions and also do the same with your mushrooms. So I'm, all I'm doing with this onion is taking off the skins, like so. I cut them in half, and then I cut them down the middle, and then four chops, and it gives them nice and chunky. You don't want it too small. Once they're done, move on to your carrots. Again, keep them nice and chunky. You don't want them disappearing when they cook down. Quickly peel your carrots. It doesn't have to be too neat. Cut the end off, and any horrible bits, cut the top off, and then just cut them into nice chunky bits. You don't want them too small, like the end bits, these are quite small, um, but this, like the chunky top bits, you can do them in this kind of size, it works really well. Again, once you've done your carrots, move on to your mushrooms, I like to cut them into quarters. They look much better, and they're great because you can just pop them in. Now everything's cut up, start with your onions. You need to fry light your pan. A couple of spritzes is all you need. Put your onions in. Let them do them stuff. Your onions will need about five to seven minutes just until they're slightly browned in the fry light. While my onions are doing their thing, I'm gonna cut up my steak chunks. I've tried to get as much of the fat off uh, as I can and uh, leave it in quite big chunks. It looks pretty good. Now my onions are done, what I'm gonna do is transfer them into the oven pan that I'm gonna be using and um, add everything together. It's super easy, this one. Okay, so once your onions have gone in, put your carrots in and also put your steak in. Also add your spoonful of tomato puree. Once that's in, pop your herbs in. So I've got rosemary and thyme in mine. Rosemary. Bit of thyme. And then loads of salt and pepper. Nice sprinkling of salt. Don't forget to add your water. That's about 800 milliliters, which is about a pint and a half, I think. Okay, just give it a stir. Get that paste in, all those herbs mixed in together. Now the really easy bit, you just have to let it simmer for about an hour and a half. Okay, so here's the lid. See you in an hour and a half. Okay, so it's been cooking for about an hour, so let's have a look. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm, that does look good. So with about 20 minutes to go, what you need to do is add in your mushrooms and also your gravy granules. Um, bang as many mushrooms in as you like. I love mushrooms, so I am piling them high. With your gravy granules, um, I'm using Bisto's onion gravy granules. Just pop in two spoons and um, teaspoons, that is. Give it a good mix and it should thicken up the juice that's in there. Lovely. 
So now leave it for another 20 minutes and the goo should like really thicken up and um, then it's ready to eat. Mmm, that looks really good. Yeah, can't wait to try it. Okay, so stew has been done and eaten and it was really nice. I think next time I might put a couple more herbs or something in it just to give it a bit more depth or maybe even like a stock pot. That'll probably be really good. Just to give it a little bit something else, make sure the flavor like sticks around a bit. It's super good, really, really yummy. You could make an absolute load and uh, freeze it maybe, and then just defrost it when you need it. So all in all, thumbs up.